Good morning, everybody. And yes, I do take my coffee very seriously. I'm a very serious person sometimes, you guys. I took off my nails last night because I couldn't stand them anymore. They were just lifting because I didn't prep them properly last time because I rushed and blah, 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 blah. I took them all off. I'm going to use this new color I got from Chisel. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of clear on my natural nail to keep any colored acrylic off of that so it's not so difficult to remove when I change my nails. I did slow down on my prep process this time, so hopefully I will have no lifting and I will be good to go. Cheerio. All right, so I am in the mood for some pink and white. Okay, I know I did this before a couple weeks ago, and I'm doing it again because I have a new color pink, and I'm just in the mood for this clean you know, look, I I didn't record myself doing my other hand, but I did the same thing on my other hand. So that is done right now as well. It's just undecorated. It's just all pink and white. And I'm not mad too. I love a nice clean look sometimes. So what I do is I put a nice drier bead of white at the top and I kind of fade it out just a little bit. All right, now if I was working on somebody else, I would fade it out a little bit more and I would take my time. But since I'm working on myself, I'm, I'm really not too pressed if I see, you know, where the white starts. But it ended up coming out, I don't want to say flawlessly, but it came out pretty damn good, you guys. This color pink is pretty solid, just like it said on the bottom. Um, you can see a little transparency there. That's because the bead is too wet. The wetter the bead, the more transparency you're going to see. So when you're doing things like this, guys, make sure you try to use a drier bead, you know, on the drier side, not too dry. You want to still be able to put it into place, but you want it more on the drier side so it's more solid. Now for this nail, you guys, I'm going to do an encapsulated 3D rose. The trick to do... The trick to doing this is to do it on a new nail. So I put a thin coat of the pink acrylic down and you want to press out them petals to be super thin, as thin as you can, but you don't want to lose the definition of the flower you're trying to build, right? So I'm going to do it just like I normally would on top of the nail, but I'm just going to make it thinner and press down them petals. You see how thin it is? And then I'm going to put a little tiny stone in the center because I did find that you can encapsulate those little tiny stones and they don't lose their sparkle. So I'm going to make a couple leaves the same way I'm going to put them down I'm going to make sure they're super flat because I want to take into consideration that I'm going to be encapsulating this with clear acrylic so you want to be able to pull down a nice bead of clear acrylic without bulking up the nail and making it 10 feet high do you know what I'm saying and if you're filing at the end and you file a little bit of the flower don't even worry about it it's okay it'll be all right so after a top coat guys look at this Woo!